Ah, hello. Hey, hey Jonathan. Hi, Wei Hong. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. You can hear me okay? Yes, it, it's good. You'll be sharing, be sharing some slides. Did you get to try yes. and the share oh. option? Okay, I'll uh, do it right now. That's good, Catalina. <laughs> Is that the uh, okay? Oh, okay. Let's go through that. So the uh, the interaction will be through the uh, chat window. Ah, uh, okay, great. So I Is will have my um colleague help me to answer the question if it. Comes hopefully, up. Yeah, yes, yeah. hopefully. I think we have to let me see. It's uh it's not too bad because people have just had a um a break. Okay. Networking and visiting booths. <laughs> in the virtual world. <laughs> in the in the virtual world. So hopefully people will come on time. The last session mm. it was a bit difficult because it was in the middle of a lot of stuff. So ah, people okay. people tended to come at the end, the last few minutes. I see. Is Gunho, if I pronounce his Gunho, is he coming? Yep. Yeah, he's he here? here. He's here? Yes. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. It was such, a small, such, a, such a small window now. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, okay, great. I can see your thing. So you, you probably want to put it into presenter mode. And then okay. pe people can then zoom in and out of their screen and, and see what's on the slide deck. Okay, so we we'll, we'll give it a few minutes. It's not the formal start time, which is at two thirty Jakarta time. Yeah. Mm. So, Jonathan, you have got a chance to uh, look at our uh, the slide. Did I look at the slides? Yeah. Uh, you sent it to me. Briefly. I did. I did, oh, I did okay. I, um, yeah. Just bear in mind that twenty five minutes is a very short time. Yeah. But don't, don't panic. Take all the time you want at the same time. Yeah. Because I'm sure what you want to say is very useful. Yep. Sure. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's a good chance to learn. Have you had a chance to go to the other sessions? In fact, you were running a session earlier, right? So, yeah. So I was uh, in, in, uh, in the other session as well. Just, just before the break. Yeah. yeah, just before the break. That's right. Yes, great. So hopefully there will be a lot of interest and people will come and, and ask more. Yep. So, sorry I couldn't attend that because I was doing something else. Yeah, it's like para, some parallel session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see who's here. So we've got Angeline, oh. we've got Gunho Wei Hong. Okay. Yes, <laughs> okay. That's that's nice and cozy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we're expecting some of, uh, uh, you know, um, the people that register. It's kind of like uh, some interesting company there. Like, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, get some interaction with them. I hope so, yeah. yeah. What's on after this? So after this, there's a workshop. Yeah, there's, there's other talks. There's other talks, okay. Connecting payments, better API DX. Oh, Twi Twilio. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just adjusting the. So now it's three thirty. Okay. It's okay. I think there's only four people, so. Yeah. Us. <laughs> yeah, just wait a little bit. Is it is it a hard cut at uh, three three twenty no, uh, four? It, it, it's not. It's more just to respect your time, to respect oh. other people. But let's just carry on. Carry on for. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay, let's carry on for you know five minutes afterwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give people a little bit of time to join. Yeah. As they are having the networking break. Mm. 
virtually. Yeah, no, it's a real, <laughs> it's a real thing, isn't it? So. Hi, Alex. Yep, yep Alex. Hi, hey, Alex. <laughs> Oh, Alex is joined here. Okay. Yeah. You want Alex? Do you want to be on the on the moderator panel? I didn't realize that clicking that button would uh, <laughs> do that. I don't think that is in anybody's best interest after uh, what just happened. So I will. Oh dear. So so shall I? Do you want to remove yourself, or do I have to do that? You might have to. Okay. All right. Nothing personal. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a way to bring people into the uh, round table, like to talk, but generally, generally there's not enough time for that. So it's yeah. just, just through the chats. And, and people don't realize they press that button. So if it, <laughs> you bring them in, they, they, they're a bit shocked. Yeah, out of the blue, they are, they are presenting. They, are, they appear in, in the screen. Yes. Okay, all right. This is a little bit slow, isn't it? I wonder what's happening mm. here. Um, okay, I mean, look, I think we could, if, well, get started. <laughs> let's see. This is, this yeah, let's, let's have at least one uh, <laughs> external. external. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, let's get started, but there's there's really no more. Yeah, Alex, I, even Alex is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of late in, uh, in the uh, the West Coast. Jonathan, where do you where do you where do you reside now in Asia oh, Singapore. or Singapore? Just in ah, Singapore. Singapore. Okay, yeah, Singapore. I'm in Singapore too. Yeah, I'm in um, um, I'm in the CBD at the moment. In a, uh, okay. a, a co-working co space. Yeah, I, I mean the Tanjong Pagar as well. Uh, yeah. You you actually have an office here? Yeah, at Tanjong Pagar. Okay. So am I missing anything here? 2.30 Jakarta, 3.30 Singapore. Mm. And let me see, the break was 2.10, 2.30. Uh, okay. Um, let me uh, let me just message. You just hold on, I'll just go and yeah. message.
Hey, hi everyone. Sorry for the. Yep. Hi. So th there seems to be a, a, um, an absence of people attending. <laughs> I've raised this to the organizers um, who are mm. also in this, uh, in this round table room. So they're aware of the situation and they'll be sort of putting a message out to encourage people to come. Oh, okay. Okay, so just in case you're wondering what is happening, this is a little bit unusual. Maybe it's because it's late in the day in Jakarta or something. We, we have a... Uh, uh... Thomas is here, of course, uh, but then Dennis, we have Dennis here as well. Yeah, from the organization. Organization, yeah. From the organizers, yeah. Oh, okay. So um, I checked; it's not a technical problem, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we 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 just have to work with what we've got at the moment, and the the organisers are in the room and they're aware of what is happening. So yeah. So sorry about sorry about that, but it's kind of <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. No worry. Yep. Just gonna wait a little bit. Yeah. Go with the flow. Yep.
Mm-hmm. So I've um I'm just waiting. Yep, we have one. So thanks for your patience, gentlemen. Um, I'm just uh, talking to the organizer. I mean, through the Uber conference, the green room, uh, awaiting their feedback. They were telling me right. this is this has not happened before, um, and they were just looking into how many people attended the prior um, lab, right? Maybe that's mm. the reason. You know, people are a bit confused. I don't know. So I actually see we have Michelle here. So Michelle, um, we have had a bit of a delay on this uh, this workshop. So if you're if you're keen, we could we could uh, we could proceed um, because the announcement yep. has just gone out to the uh, the broader group. So what what what, what say you? Should we make a? Should we just just get on with this? Yeah, I guess uh, we, we just get started. Uh, if there are others joining, um, I think uh, we can we can we can we can then uh, see how to uh, answer those questions. Right? Yeah, we, we just I, think, the, I, I think just I think get the things going. Just get it going, and then yeah. we can we can overrun based on the uh, the circumstances. Right. Um, so yeah, so appreciate uh, the, the little bit behind here in timing. And that we we you know we will get started. So um, thanks to the team at Sendbird. I know it's a very interesting discussion around software as a service and API for real time uh, communications, chat and video. So it's ask me anything. So literally, uh, literally this is about introducing the company and the products, and then getting through to um, talking about some of the things that might be important, such as why would people use Sendbird by a solution like this and how to get started and some example of what, what's possible. Broadly right. speaking, so yeah, so we've got two sales engineers. Um, the headquarters um, are in Korea for this region. So we have Gunho from uh, Seoul and then in Singapore we have Wei Hong. So gentlemen, if you would like to sort of introduce yourself, the company, and then we can just see, see who else uh, has some questions on this. Yeah, sure. Um, hi, I'm Wei Hong. I'm a sales engineer. So I've joined Samba for about two years and uh, I'm based in Singapore and uh, looking up the, uh, the technical sales aspect of the uh, Samba uh, chat voice and video product. Hi, um, this is Gono. I'm based in Seoul. I work in Wei Hong as sales engineer in Samba um, covering APEC region. Glad to see you. Yeah, um, let me take you through some uh, material and uh, uh, give a quick intro uh, of the company so that you have a context of uh, who we are and, and what we do. Right, at Sandbird, uh, we are all about building connections and interactions for a user inside your app. Right, we do this for some of the world's uh, largest B2C and a C2C company and also some of the super app across the globe. Essentially, uh, we provide chat, voice, and uh, as uh, chat, <coughs> voice, and video SDK and uh, API, uh, so that the developer can easily build and embed user-to-user -user communications or user-to-user uh, -user interaction uh, within your application. And 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 really, that the end goal is to get your app uh, uh, socially connected, right? So a little bit about the company. So our founder actually started the business in uh, Korea right? in 2016. Uh, we accepted into a, a tech startup program called White Combinator uh, in Silicon Valley. And uh, coming out of White Combinators, they kind of really uh, set our path to, to where we are today. Right? So we have now over 110 million uh, Maliatic chat users that had conversation through our platform, sending over uh, 1.7 million messages a month. So in terms of company size, we have uh, uh, significantly grown over the last years. We have now close to about 250 full-time employees uh, in seven cities across the globe. So our headquarters is in uh, San Mateo, California. So in fact, uh, half of our team are in R&D engineering. So uh, we've over 100 of them building, you know, uh, actively building our uh, chat, uh, voice and video product. 
Across the world, we have uh, over 70,000 uh, uh, developers that build on top of our SDK and uh, API. So mostly mobile apps. Uh, so they're developing across uh, many different platforms. Mostly uh, we are talking about iOS, Android native, and uh, JavaScript on web. Um, today we have raised over $120 million. Uh, the last round was uh, our Series B, uh, led by Iconic Capital and Tiger Global Management. Our other investors include, for example, Shastar, uh, Textiles, and Funder Club. So uh, we, we, we are pretty well funded. So um, you can be confident that we will be with you for the long term. Uh, next, uh, here I want to show you uh, some of the apps that we work with. Uh, we kind of cut across uh, uh, a, a few uh, vertical here. So the one that you saw here, that these are the four biggest uh, vertical segments that uh, we cut across, right? For example, the digital healthcare, marketplaces, on demands, and community, right? So in healthcare, digital healthcare space, if one go is one of our customers in US, right? So they provide group chat for its uh, members to get personalized uh, coaching from their healthcare coaches. Um, marketplaces, you know, Rakuten, one of the big brands in Japan and e-commerce platform, right? Also uh, Paytm, right? Uh, the largest uh, unicorn in India. They started with payment and uh, slowly now they move into e-commerce and, and gaming as well. Um, in on-demand space, uh, we held a company here called Delivery Hero, right? Which has a dozen brands uh, across the world. Uh, mostly we know them as uh, Food Panda in Asia. Um, another one is a uh, corner shop uh, and other grocery delivery apps uh, out of Mexico, uh, inquired by uh, Uber last year. Right. We, we also spend a lot of time with our uh, customer in community, right? For example, Reddit, uh, Yahoo, Dream11 in, in our India, right? So take an example for Reddit. So I guess uh, some of you in the audit uh, attendees might be very familiar with, right? So Reddit partner with us uh, uh, to actually offer us the uh, private messaging and subready chat group, or up to group of uh, 1,000 members. So after the uh, implement, uh, introduced the in-app chat, they uh, saw a significant uptick in terms of the, uh, the user re retention, and which is really a game changer for, uh, for them. Now, uh, let's dive a little into the, our, our product offering. So we have three products essentially, uh, which sit on top of one common sample platform. Uh, our primary product is our chat API and SDK, right? And then early last year, we also introduced our voice and video. Uh, we call it the sandbox calls, right? Which connects two party, two users via uh, voice and video. And just a little announcement. So uh, last week, uh, we released our group calling feature for our sandbox calls. And uh, we're really excited about that. And the last one is our Samba desk, which is uh, sort of like an expansion of our chat uh, to embed multi-channel agent-based support to your mobile or web app. So beyond just uh, enabling the channels and the features that I just talked about, uh, really what we want to do, uh, really what we want to achieve is uh, we have a infrastructure which is uh, really scalable, reliable, and secure, right? Especially if you are uh, dealing with healthcare, right? The reliability has to be there to have the doctor talk to the patients, and the conversation has to be uh, very secure, right? So we have been powering these types of uh, communications uh, with those uh, three key value in mind. So as so as a modern uh, developer too, our our SDK support uh, uh, multiple platforms. Um, to help developer to build uh, the best chat framework, right? So the SDK provides everything the developer needs to embed real-time chat quickly that come with a, a modern messaging experience. So beside the mainstream OS platform like iOS, Android, and JavaScript, uh, we also support uh, React Native, .NET, and uh, Unity. And the uh, latest additions to this suite of SDK uh, is our Flutter SDK, which is coming out soon uh, in March. So beyond the SDK, we also provide a, a RESTful API to enable your backend server to interact with our Sandbox backend server. And really that is to allow you to uh, streamline your backend service workflow to provide a better user experience. 
In terms of uh, uh, global deployment, uh, we have globally distributed uh, data center in eight different uh, multi-tenant region and, and more than 10 uh, private regions. So our backend is built uh, on top of AWS in massive scale. So it can support you know, up to millions of uh, uh, concurrent connections per app. In terms of getting help from Samba, so we also provide 24 by 7 round the clock global support. Uh, but most importantly, uh, we are compliant with uh, some of the major security and uh, data privacy standard, and such as SOC 2, Type 2, ISO 27001, HIPAA, uh, GDPR, EU, or US privacy shield. Um, this is the long uh, feature list uh, of our uh, three product offering. So uh, because of time constraint, uh, I won't be able to dive into every single de single one of them in detail, uh, but we'll highlight them in, in your few core area, right? So the one that uh, in, in this purple box, right, so is our chat uh, and messaging functionality delivery through the, our Samba chat product, right? So be that, beside providing you the uh, modern messaging essential feature, we also have more advanced feature, for example, offline messaging, translation, announcement, Right. And also we have some channel management features for you to build a uh, uh, different type of use case. And next, uh, uh, real-time voice and video functionality. So this is our sampled calls product. So it is a cross-platform uh, SDK that can support you know, one-to-one -one voice and video call and also group calling uh, in iOS, Android, and JavaScript. So these are the three uh, platforms that we su currently supported. Uh, next is uh, Sandbird Desk. So this is a, a multi-channel customer support experience that integrate with uh, our Sandbird in-app chat, right? Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, also, it comes with agent dashboard interface as well as the uh, automatic ticket routing capability. Um, in addition to the, uh, the the above, right? So additional platform functionality such as moderation, analytics, and integrations. Uh, many of these platform feature are only for chat today, right? But uh, as we develop more feature for our sampled calls and a sample dash product, this functionality will be get added uh, over time. Um, really, uh, this is uh, uh, what I want to you know just give a. a intro to you uh, to know more about our company and our uh, product offering. So um, over to you, uh, Jonathan. Let's see if we have any questions from the uh, yeah. audience. Yeah, so I'm uh, running a bit late. Sorry about that. It's just how, how people have sort of come into the room mm. and so forth. Hey, so um, that's pretty comprehensive. Like you've already built a lot of stuff, built in the security, scalability, and reliability, yeah? <laughs> I was looking at the references, so you know anyone can just put a question in the chat about uh, maybe I'll get started here. I was looking at some of the um, the customers, and there's some big name customers there, um, like Reddit and Rakuten. Um, but how how about Indonesia or even Southeast Asia? Yes, uh, we do have uh, uh, quite a few customers uh, in, in the Southeast Asia region. Mm. For example, in Indonesia, uh, uh, Traveloka is one of our customers. So if you're using Traveloka app to engage uh, with the with their support agent or, or participate in their live uh, commerce streaming events chat, and that's actually using Sambit. And other like so another company in the uh, education tech, uh, which is uh, Ranguru, right? So they use Sambit for the uh, the uh, teacher and student chat. Another one is uh, Astra. So Astra, there's a they, they have a mobile app called Movi app, which is a, a vehicle rental app. So they use our chat uh, in that app as well. And we also have one B two B marketplace uh, customer called Ralavi. So it's an online platform that uh, connects the manufacturer and the uh, to sell directly to the owner and merchant. So that's where we enable their manufacturer and to merchant chat. So in Thailand, we also have another big uh, company called Certis, which is a big data AI company. They use us to power the uh, e-commerce chatbot. Uh, in Singapore, we have uh, Carousel, right, and uh, a C 2 C marketplace, Healing in the healthcare, and also Fast Job in the uh, recruitment space. So Fast Job is under uh, Singapore Press Holding. Uh, 
Okay, recognize some of those names. Yeah. Um, why, why do they use Why do they use Sendbird? I mean, they could build up like these are not small companies. They could build it themselves. Well, oh uh, yeah, building chat. Uh, uh, to be honest, building chat is something we are easy to get going, but uh, uh, really hard to keep going. Right. Uh, for a lot of companies today, right, um, the the goal is to get their app to the market uh, as soon as possible. You know, and, and they want to find a faster way to actually test the idea, right? So using our SDK and API, it can significantly reduce their development time and resources, right? So especially if chat is not their core uh, business, right? So rather than focusing on building the nuts and bolts of uh, a messaging technology, right? They can spend most of their time to uh, focus on the other priority. For example, if they are a marketplace app, right? So they can spend their energy in enhancing the, you know, the buyer and seller experience rather than the message messaging part, right? Another another <coughs> aspect is the rich, rich feature set that Samba provide, right? So uh, building chat is not just about, you know, enable the uh, conversation between two person, right? So there are a lot of other features that goes into it to make it on par with, you know, all the other social chat app experience that uh, everybody is very accustomed to, for example, WhatsApp, Telegram, right? So mm-hmm. building those front end experience and also the back end, you know, things like analytics, you know, searching, security. So all these require significant uh, amount of effort to do that. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot happening, right? I mean, they we're talking about chat, but there's also video. And there was one question that came in through the uh, registration was like, do people use chat and video together? But I'm going to add another question there because there's so much talk about security as people are moving away from some platforms. I won't name names. And they're looking at other platforms like uh, public platforms. Um, the issues about security, about um, especially cloud, cloud-based cloud APIs, you know, and mm. reaches and things like that. Uh, what has been your experience in, 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 in ensuring the safety of, if you like, the communities or that, that, that these are enabling? Uh, so in terms of uh, uh, security, uh, uh, of the uh, conversation, right? So in in, in Sandbird, we we have a, a team, dedicated team in Sandbird. We call it the uh, uh, trust and safety, right? So they they focus us on the processes and, and the technology to help uh, safeguard our, uh, our customer data, right? And also uh, from the uh, technology standpoint, so all the uh, data in transit and at rest, right? So are all encrypted in our platform. So as a customer, if you want to add additional layers of encryption, right, on top of uh, Samba, uh, like the other workshop that we have, right, and then you can definitely uh, do that. Also, another thing that I mentioned in the presentation is we heavily invested in a lot of uh, security standards like ISO 27001, SOC 2, Type 2, HIPAA, GDPR, right? So these are all really to increase the overall protection of the data. Okay, sorry, I wasn't at your your workshop, yeah. so you probably you probably covered that. Yeah, um, I, 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 you know, I, I think I've done enough talking. Really, I, mm. um, <laughs> we could go on, <laughs> but I, I just open it up to the um, um, anyone on the on the on the chat. Any any questions? I think we've got two experts here. Um, so maybe you attended the workshop. I'm not sure. Um, please please do uh, put some questions in there. Um, uh, just wondering, uh, how else can people contact you? I think there's a booth. There's, um, do you have any, any sort of communities or places where I know this could have been covered in the workshop already, um, sure. where people can contact you, get engaged with the, with the platform? Yeah. So, uh, in, in this, uh, API days, right. So we have a booth, right. Uh, in, uh, where you can visit our booth, uh, to get some information of course uh the, the really the the the, the easier way is to visit our website assembler.com right and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh information about the product our customer right so uh we also have uh, if you if you are a developer and you really want to get started with uh, uh building chat using assembler right so uh, i'll i will definitely uh encourage you to visit our, our developer portal at uh, samba.com uh, slash developer. I'm gonna put it up in the put it uh, in the chat. Yeah. In, yeah. Uh, put it up in the uh, sorry, in the uh, my slide. Mm. You'll be able to see that. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is Sember.com is our website. Right, and uh, if you want to develop, uh, uh, look at our documentation, you know, tutorial sample app. So you can visit our uh, our developer website at sample.com for slash developer, right? Or you can, if you have a mobile now, you can, you know, scan scan the QR code here. And you know, one one last question, like, it's like, it sounds really good, but then it, how much does it cost? What's the pricing? How is it priced? (laughs) Is the, uh, is the correct phrase? Right. Um, so our pricing model uh, comprises of uh, two aspects, right? So one is, uh, let, let me talk about chat, right? So, so chat, uh, we have three different uh, package tier, you know, the starter tier, the pro tier, and the enterprise tier. Uh, really, the differences uh, in each tier is the type of feature that are included in the package, right? So what, what we really count, need, to, need to know is the number of monthly active users that you require in each tier, right? From there, we will derive uh, no, the monthly subscription fee for chat, for the, uh, for the for the for your chat. Also, um, of course, the enterprise tier provide you the most flexibility, you know, to customize the plan. If you have a you know large user base, uh, which is over hundred thousand, right? So, so the second aspect of it will be the the kind of support plan that uh, you would like to have. So we have different level of support plan that can cater for, for your needs. For voice and video, uh, that's purely uh, usage-based uh, minutes pricing. So uh, if you're interested more about pricing, you can visit seminar.com for slash pricing, right? So though, uh, you can find out uh, how actually we structure our price model. So you can start from the uh, starter pro 5K for 399 per month, you know, upwards to, you know, uh, thousands of dollars depending on your uh, uh, monthly effective user. So this comes down to really uh, just the right the right choice for the right kind of application. I think you've, you've got lots of customers that you've shared with us. Um, but for, for those who haven't haven't really are not in the market immediately to buy us buy something like this, um, how would you say they can just get more familiar with, with, with Sendbird? Where would be their, their, their starting point? Yeah. You know, like, I just want to start now. Like, after this, I'm really motivated. Yeah. So visit our website at sendbird.com to sign up an account, right? So once you sign up the account, you follow through the sign-up process and, and create your own application, your platform, right? And then um, we have a lot of, uh, you know, resources to, to help you get started. Uh, just now I mentioned the uh, here the uh, you can see the developer portal here, right? Uh, in the developer portal, you can uh, uh, get a lot of help from the uh, from the documentation, from the tutorial that we provide, right? We also have uh, a Sandbird community, right? It's uh, at community.sandbird.com, right? So a lot of uh, our developer and our t- engineer are actually within the community to help answer any questions that you might have for our chat or voice or video product, right? So um, visit that website, you know, if you hit any uh, uh, roadblock, I believe a lot of the, the query or questions that you might have, might have already answered in, in, in the community. Or if you really need help, you can ask the question again and uh, I'm our community uh, and our engineer and the com- people in the community are very, uh, must be very willing to help each other. Yeah, yeah, that that's got to be a very good, a useful starting point because yeah. if one's expertise is not uh, real time communications, is not chat, this could be a fast track by asking people who've been through that learning curve and actually applied it through the community. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a really useful resource. All right, so uh, look, um, if there's any other questions, um, the chat will be open, um, and um, I think. I think Unless there's anything else, gentlemen, I think I'll just call the um, j- yeah. just close the round table. Uh, I see you put something up about code cafe. Yeah, code cafe. Yeah, last bit. Yeah, uh, give me your, what, another minute. So before I end yeah. the session, so yeah. uh, Samba would like to invite you know you and uh, anyone that uh, interested in, in our uh, Samba chat, right, to join our code cafe series. So really, this is a, a, a platform for developer. We have a deep dive uh, conversation with our sample expert and some of our guest speaker. So the content is more geared toward developer uh, who is interested, you know, you know, building chat, voice, and video. But uh, really, uh, you know, anyone is welcome to join. So if you're interested, you know, scan the QR code here and uh, register for the event. So depending on which time zone 
uh, you're located, we have uh, uh, three different sessions available here at three different times. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. It's great, great to see an Asia friendly time zone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So we can just keep that keep that up on the screen. Let me see. Zoom the screen. All right. So okay. Th thanks very much for your your time, and thanks for all the attendees, those who who have uh, come along to this. Let me see. Uh, yeah. So so with that, I'll just I'll end the session. I'm wondering if we can put a link to that Code Cafe, or that that would be on your website as well. That would be on the Sendbird website. Yes, so that, that will be on the Sendbird website right. as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. So if there's nothing else, thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's all in the chat window. And the chat window will remain open for the next uh, 10, 10 or so minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, we, we had a late start, but it's good that we got through through this stuff and very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.